All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make Parmesan crusted grouper. I've got three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese and three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs all together in one bowl. And then I take three finely sliced green onions, sprinkle those on in there, three tablespoons of butter, softened butter, and three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And we're gonna mix that together with one tablespoon of Worcestershire, a half a teaspoon of Tabasco, A little bit extra because I like Tabasco. It gives it a good vinegary flavor. All right, and don't forget to add some salt and pepper to your mixture. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, and then you sort of get this like clumpy mixture that you can just sort of squish together. You want to add a half a lemon's worth of juice. And get that all mixed in. Now I've already got my grouper in an already greased pan. I've washed it and pat it dry. And I'm going to take some salt and pepper and you want to generously season these. Check out how thick these grouper fillets are. These are just steaks. So you're gonna take your mixture and you wanna do about three tablespoons roughly on each grouper fillet. So just take a little bit, ball it up, squish it down on there. basically want to have a nice little coating on top of each grouper fillet. Don't short on this stuff guys. This is the best stuff. It's so delicious. Wait until you try this. It's buttery and just so, so delicious. It's got like a nice lemon zest and oh, it's just, it's, it gets crusted when you broil it at the very end. It's delicious. All right, you want some nice little mounds of this delicious mixture. All right guys, so she's got this nice Parmesan, lemon, green onion, seasoning goodness piled on top of these nice grouper fillets. Good job, Katie. All right, I've already got my oven set to 425 degrees. And depending on the size of your fillets, it's going to take roughly 13 to 15 minutes, but you mainly want to get them to a temperature of 135 degrees. And then after they reach 135 degrees, you want to set your oven to broil until the topping gets to the right brownness for you. It gets a little crispy and nice and golden, so good. I like to broil it for about three to five minutes. All right guys, so these are done. Check them out. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. That Parmesan breadcrumb combination is nice and toasty. Katie's gonna go ahead and pull it out. We're gonna zoom back here so you can see it. Check that out. Mm. Yum. It smells so good. It sure does. All right, let's get to eating. All right guys, well you've come to the end of this video. As you can see here, Katie has outdone herself. This looks fantastic. This is that grouper we just caught. 
Katie put a nice Parmesan breadcrumb lemon butter yummy goodness <laughs> topping on it and we baked it and then broiled it to finish it off. Good job, Katie. Thank you. I can't wait any longer though, so I'm gonna take a bite. Let's see if she likes it. All right. Oh, I know I'm gonna like it. Yeah, we've had this a time or two, but. I might burn my mouth, but I think it'll be worth it, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Mmm. How is it? Good as always? It's good as always. It's buttery, crunchy, lemony. So, so delicious. It tastes like it took like three hours to make it, but it only took like maybe 30 minutes. If you include the bake time. Mmm. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. We'll be making a new video for how to cook mangrove snapper for our next video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you like this. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Stay tuned. See you next Peace time. Out.